Welcome to the video on how VAT liability is calculated on Amazon. Please note that this video does not constitute tax advice, but only wants to give you an understanding on how collected data are being processed by Amazon. Should you require a more detailed understanding of the VAT treatment of your transactions and the corresponding VAT liability, we recommend you to contact your tax advisor for individual support. In this video, we will take Italy as an example to show you how to calculate the VAT liability for one country. To review the final VAT liability, log into your Seller Central, hover over the Reports tab and click on File your VAT. Then click on either Provide Monthly Data at the top of the page or View Monthly Transaction Reports on the bottom. Kindly note that to download reports that are not related to the latest filing preparation window, you will have to click on Past Filings on the right side of the screen and select the relevant period you would like to check on the following page. Click on Download Amazon VAT Transactions Report and Download Additional VAT Report. In this video, you will see how to compute your final VAT liability, summing the total VAT amounts you can calculate from these two reports. We start with calculating the VAT sum from the Amazon VAT Transaction Report. Open the Amazon VAT Transactions Report and follow the described steps to update the spreadsheet. 1. Filter column A, Format Error, and column B, VAT error to leave only blanks. 2. Filter column BD, taxable jurisdiction, and leave only the country you are checking. In our example, it is Italy. IT. 3. Filter column BT, tax reporting scheme, to leave only regular. 4. Filter column BU, tax collection responsibility, to leave only seller. Five, filter column D, transaction type, to exclude the following transaction types. FC transfer, inbound, return, donation and commingling by, if applicable. Leaving any sale, refund or commingling sell transactions. Six, sum column AB, Total Activity Value VAT AMT, ensuring column AG, Transaction Currency Code, does not include a currency different than reporting currency. The reporting currency is the currency in which you need to pay your VAT liabilities for that country, for example, GPB in UK, CZK in Czech Republic, Euro in Italy. If column AG does include a currency other than the reporting currency, then you will have to do a currency conversion. The conversion rate that you should use is the one related to the date stated under Transaction Complete Date for the relevant transaction and should be taken from the website of the European Central Bank. 7. Once you have converted the amounts in column AB so that all values are in the reporting currency, sum this amount. 8. If you have commingling by transactions in column D, please filter column D, transaction type, to leave only commingling by. Check that the amounts populated in column AB are in the reporting currency. You can do this by referring to column AG. Once you have converted all amounts in column AB to the reporting currency, sum the amount in this column. Deduct the commingling by total amount computed in step 8 from the previous sum you computed in step 7. Let's assume, for example, that the total amount of your VAT liability for Italy in the Amazon transaction report is 150 euro. Record this amount. You will need it later to compute your total VAT liability. Now we can proceed with calculating the VAT liability from the additional VAT report. Click on Enable Content button and on Validate Template button and take the following steps. 1. Filter column A, Format Error, 
and column B, VAT error, to leave only blanks. Filter column AX, taxable jurisdiction, to leave only the country you are checking. In our example, it is Italy. IT, 1.1, filter column BJ, tax reporting scheme, to leave only regular. 1.2, filter column BK, tax collection responsibility, to leave only seller. 2. Filter column D, transaction type, to exclude return, FC, transfer, inbound, commingling buy, import, and purchase transactions. 3. Check column AA, transaction currency code, does not include a currency different than reporting currency. Reporting currency is the currency in which you need to pay your VAT liabilities in a particular country. For example, reporting currency in Italy is Euro. If it does, filter column AA to only include currency different than reporting currency. 4. Convert to numbers the amounts in column S, total price of items VAT AMT, column U, total ship charge VAT AMT, and column W, total gift wrap VAT AMT, to do their sum. Convert the amount you get to the reporting currency using the European Central Bank Currency Converter and write down the amounts you get. To simplify the calculation, you can convert the total amount to the reporting currency using only one exchange rate, and that is the exchange rate from the last day of the month. For example, for November 2020, you can use the exchange rate of the 30th of November 2020. 5. Go back to column AA, Transaction Currency Code, and select the reporting currency only. 6. Convert to numbers the amounts in column S, Total Price of Items VAT AMT, column U, Total Ship Charge VAT AMT, and column W, Total Gift Wrap VAT AMT, to do their sum and write down the amounts you get. If you have commingling buy, import and purchase transactions column D, please filter column D, transaction type, to leave only commingling buy, import and purchase. Remember to take the same currency check in column AA. 8. Convert to numbers the amounts in column S, total price of items VAT AMT, column U, total ship charge VAT AMT, and column W, total gift wrap VAT AMT, to do their sum and write down the amounts you get. Deduct this amount from the first sum you recorded for the additional VAT report. Now that you have computed the sum of the VAT liability for both reports, sum up the VAT liability amounts from the Amazon VAT transactions report and your additional VAT report. This is your total VAT liability for the country you are checking. Please note that you should repeat these actions for each month reports if you are filing quarterly in the country you are checking. For example, if we are checking VAT return for Germany quarter 4 for the year 2020, that would correspond to October, November and December. Your tax agent, when computing the VAT liability calculation, uses for the conversion the actual exchange rate set by European Central Bank for the date when a transaction took place, transaction completed date in your reports, and makes the conversion for each transaction separately. Therefore, the final VAT liability you calculated might slightly differ from the VAT liability stated on Seller Central in your VAT return. Please also take into account that if you file quarterly in Italy and pay your VAT liability quarterly as well, a 1% surcharge will be included in the final amount showing on Seller Central. This means that you have to multiply the final amount of your manual calculation by 1.01 to get the amount displayed on Seller Central. That wraps up our video on calculating the VAT liability with VAT services on Amazon. Thank you and happy selling.